Hi, uh, my name is Alfonso Mendoza. You're an uh, executive chef here at the club at Western Hills. And today we're going to talk about uh, Florida produce. Uh, more specifically, mangoes. Uh, mango season, uh, it's uh, from May to October. Uh, Florida is the largest producer of uh, mangoes in the U.S. Uh, with Miami, Palm Beach, and Lee counties being the most uh, uh, producers in the, uh, in the state. There are about 283 types of mangoes worldwide. Uh, 30 are well known uh, here in the U.S. with uh, Tommy Atkin, the Hayden, the Kate, uh, the Van Dyke, and the Alfonso. No relation to my name, it just happens to be so. Uh, uh, with these uh, four being the most uh, commonly used in the uh, uh, in the U.S. Uh, and more specifically, the uh, the Tommy Atkin, which is the most uh, commercial variety used here in the U.S. Most likely, if you go to the supermarket, your Tommy Atkin is the uh, mango that you uh, are going to see uh, at your store. Uh, because it is the most extensively planted out of all the varieties of mangoes um, and it's the actual benchmark of the mango industry uh, because of the color disease resistance and longevity uh, and it holds very well uh, when transporting across the Florida across the US and across the world and uh, we're gonna show you a simple way of uh, using your uh, Florida mangoes. Uh, if you've never peeled uh, or cut a mango before, this is absolutely the easiest way that I've found uh, on how to do it, cutting both ends off. Once you do that, the mango stands very well and there's no movement whatsoever. And the easiest way is actually with a good peeler and peel the actual skin. Very easy, not messy at all. Now, if you ever look at a pit from a mango, it looks a lot similar to an almond. So it's uh, flat and oval. And if you take a look at the mango, it has that similarity across. So if you find that, the two thickest parts, turn it around, one more cut, the pit should be right in the center right here. We want to be able to use the whole mango. We cut right on top of the pit. And usually chefs like to nibble on this right at the end of the night after we put it in the cooler. That's just a trade secret, all chefs do it. And then we take our pieces, which are perfectly uh, uh, peeled. sideways it's nice and flat you can serve it like this or you can dice it and every piece is nice and cut you can do this across all of the mango pieces okay and what more than perfect to do a little mango salsa since the avocados are in season and uh, we're gonna use not only Florida avocado, uh, uh, mangoes for this, we're also gonna do some um, organic sweet peppers from Delray Beach. We get these in our, in, our, in our produce truck. And to cut these, it's very simple. We like to use a mandolin here in the kitchen. Um, it's very efficient on the way it cuts. And it produces these little nice little rings that you can add to the salsa. And you can use multi-colors. You can use red, orange, uh, yellow. Also, for a little bit of heat, some jalapenos. 
and we cut them the same way because it actually produces this nice uh, cut when I use my mandolin and it's a consistent cut, right? And the ingredients that we're gonna use to make this simple mango salsa are your jalapenos, your sweet peppers, lime juice, red onions, a pinch of salt. It brings out the sweetness of the salsa in, you know, in itself. A little bit of cilantro, a little bit of brown sugar, not too much. The mangoes are already sweet. Rice wine vinegar. Uh, it is a sweetest uh, vinegar out of all the vinegars. So it'll contrast well. And all you gotta do is just mix all these ingredients in here to get a final product of salsa. All the ingredients are right in here. And guess what? It goes very well with homemade plantain chips. Nice and crispy. Or better yet, you can use it in a main dish. I'm gonna grab a plate right in here. We're gonna grab some fresh grilled mahi that we have here in house. Okay, we place it on, on our plate. Okay, then we take this fabulous mango salsa and top our fish. And use the liquid for this from the salsa as well. It goes very well with the with the actual product and fish. All right? We'll take this a half a lemon for this, just in case you want a little bit more acidity on your final product. And we could also serve the same plate with the actual plantain chips. If you would like to see this as your next special, just comment on the video below. And uh, if we get a lot of likes on it, we can put it as a special for next week. Thank you, have a good one.